Hi there, this is Chris Lloyd with Lloyded Productions doing an unboxing and product review for an order I placed with Justin Schwartz at IDJ Now. As you can see, UPS did their normal bang up job. Uh -huh. And uh, I just kind of snipped and pulled away what was protecting the inside. But you can see everything is fine on the inside. That's a nice. Yeah, forget it. That's a nice protective bubble wrap. I have my Ariba AC420 bag to house my two brand new ADJ Element QAIP. And I'll tell you why I ordered these. I have a fair amount of up lighting for indoor use, indoor use only. I have nothing IP rated to handle the elements of outside. Now, I have the common sense to know that it won't survive a Hurricane Harvey or Irma or Maria or fill in the blank. But I do know that if I'm inside and something happens outside, minus a hurricane, I should be pretty good, shouldn't I? I think so. So what I got, I got these two to simply put up a column of light on each side of the entrance to the venue that the event is at. Isn't that nice? I think so. So let's go ahead and cut her open. There we go. All right, so inside this nice foam protector for the light underneath. And also, if you're a little slice happy with your razor opening your box, then you have ah, we got a little product catalog, and we have ooh, the remote. Gotta love the remote. Yeah, I can just aim, point, point at it, and click away, and make it change colors, fade, time, all that stuff. And then, where did I see that guy? Ah, your adapter for your phone or iPad allows you to run uh, ADJ software from your uh, phone or iPad. And we have manual. Nice, thick, beefy manual. I love numbers and words. Mm. Then the piece de la resistance. Oh, wait. Power cable. Oh, man, this thing's heavy. It's not. I, I guess I just have poor upper body strength. Guess we can keep the plastic on for an extra IP rating. Give me a break. There we go. There she is. Six 5-watt LEDs. I did not go with the hex. I went with the QA because I'm only going to be putting up a column of light on each side of the entrance to the venue. I don't plan on doing anything UV specifically with these. Plus, I want to see how they do and stuff like that. Let's see here. You have your hatch. It's a magnetically sealed latch. I guess these are the magnets, and that's the metal that it magnets to. You have your kickstand here on the bottom. Oops. Comes out like that. So you can do this bad boy at an angle. That's a serious angle. And then to get it back in, you just... Ah, you just lift up on that bar on the bottom, and then it goes right back in. Flip open the hatch. You have your battery on and off. You have your power port. You can now you can use these 
uh, non-rechargeable. Mm -hmm. You can hardwire them in, uh, hardwire, you can plug them directly into an electrical outlet and not use the uh, rechargeable battery. Mm -hmm. And then you have your menu here. And look, battery, 64%. Uh, I could just open this right up and use it at a gig if I need it, which I'll show later tonight. Not a big gig, just a, a gig. Anyway, close this bad boy up. Well, actually, let's charge it up. Let's see here. I don't know. Gonna go through our menu. Oh, look at those colors. Oh, so pretty. Load on. We're gonna go load off. And unravel this cable here. I think I said charge time was five hours, I think. And we're going to plug it up. There we go. We are charging. So hopefully in five hours we will have 100%. See you in five hours. Oh, look at that. Huh? It's to sound active right now. Those are nice colors too. That's pretty awesome. Okay, here we go. We are at 96% and it is almost time to unplug them. If they don't hit 100, I'll probably unplug them and use them anyway. But I am excited. So let's say you were having a party, for example, here at the Strike and Spare in Hermitage, Tennessee. Now without the uplighting, you just have regular unlit pillars. But look, now you have red uplit pillars. How cool is that? And this is what it looks like with no pretty uplighting. Now my fiance is a UK Wildcat football fan and I'm an Iowa Hawkeye football fan. So she's gonna get one side of the door and I'm gonna get the other side of the door. It looks a little purple on camera, but I promise you, it is University of Kentucky Big Blue Blue and Hawkeye Gold. Now this is a feature I am really, really liking, especially when my QAIP fixtures grow, not in size, but as in how many, is that you can wirelessly master slave. So I set them both to the same channel. I've got this guy set on slave, S-L-A-V, and now all I have to do is just set one fixture and the rest will follow just like it is when you use DMX. How cool is that? I'm really liking these lights. Mm. Now I have my Ariba AC420 bag. Put these bad boys in there. It's really nice and protectively snug.
power cables. Really nice and long too. That's what she said. Cords are still a little stiff because they're new. But they'll start bending for me a little bit better. Well, come on, guy. Boom! And I am ready to hit him with the hind. And that's the review and unboxing for the brand new ADJ Element QAIP that I ordered from Justin Schwartz at IDJ Now. I love this light. The client loved this light. The guests at the private events that I was doing shows at where I put up a column of light on each side of the entrance from the outside of the venue that I was doing the shows at loved this light. What's not to love? It's battery powered, no cables, it's wireless, no cables, it's an awesome light. I plan on ordering several more of these guys in the very near future. Notice the pink. It is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Please, please contribute to breast cancer research. Gotta spare the pair. Thanks for watching.